All right, guys, so let's talk about how to integrate the browser within VS Code itself. So why should you use this? Well, because it's faster uh, than uh, switching between the VS Code window and the browser window. So you're wasting time if you're doing that. Um, and when should you use this? When you already have a project that serves a front end and you want to see it. And you don't need debugging and you don't need DevTools. Okay, so um, if you just want to, if you just have a project that serves a front end, you want to see it, uh, then this is this is when you should use this. So let's fire this up. This is a Remix project, so, so you could use this with uh, React, Gatsby, Remix, or any kind of uh, project that serves a front end. And then what you do is you open the, the command palette and you write simple browser. And we want to hit localhost port 3000 because that's what's being that's where it's being served and there we go and now you can be uh, you know editing your code and seeing the changes automatically applied there so uh, let me see what page is this um, welcome to remix uh, remix and stuff and you will see those change changes apply automatically on the right hand side so the way, the way this works is I have uh, autosave enabled. So if you look at the, the X icon right there, it's gonna be uh, a cycle for one second after I delete this. And um, after one second, it's gonna autosave. The uh, Remix um, script will detect the change and it will uh, reload the code in the browser. So delete, one second, save, reload, and there we go. And uh, this just makes your workflow much faster. All right. See you guys later.